Okay, we're in JDeveloper. And uh, the first thing that we really need to do is to make sure that the um, employee ID uh, sequence number is going to be populated properly when we uh, save the record. So I've already done this. Um, in the create method at the very bottom, um, you will find, um, and uh, we add this. And this very simple piece of code will set the uh, sequence number for us. So we don't have to do anything else but this. And the create method is also can also be used for other default values if you so need. So we'll close that up and uh, go over to the employee VO, over to the Java file, or Java tab, I should say. And we're going to create a generate view row class and include accessors. And this is the class. I'm just going to save it quickly. And there we go. Right under here. I'm going to copy and paste some code in that I've already written. And um, it's doing some imports of um, classes and methods that it needs. And um, here we have the employee EEO. And what we're going to basically do is um, create a new instance of that class and then set various values for that. And then these are the few required fields of that uh, table. <clears throat> then in a try catch statement we have a db transaction dot commit and um, some various uh, code to help me debug so that is uh, how to do the java class close that up now we need to expose that and you can see that this row here has a pencil and um, so we need to expose that on the um, data control so we shovel that over and uh, you can see that it has the method name and all of the various uh, required uh, parameters for it and uh, the return value, in fact. There is none being void. And uh, you can see that it creates these three or two other uh, methods. Uh, and it, it's good to take a look at those and see how, it, um, how those are written because um, if you ever decide to change any of the values for it, uh, any of the parameters in the data control in the method we created, you'll definitely want to take a look at those other ones because they they do do some hard coding and things. Okay, now we're going to refresh our um, our um, data control, close these out, and we have a main here. We'll open that up. Open that up. Okay, that took a little while to open, so I just turned off the video. Okay, we're going to refresh this. And um, down here, we're going to do this. Now, as you recall, when we first did the introduction, um, we had a problem with um, the data on the form refreshing. And there's kind of an interesting way of um, looking at this, uh, what the code does. I'm going to drag that on and choose it as a parameter form and it automatically creates everything including the button and then down at the bottom I'm just going to grab this and place it on as a read-only table one of the things I like to do is set the width to 80 just so that it renders properly when we run the form 